MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm in Peterborough at Baker Perkins, a world leader in process technologies for the food industry. Here, they also manufacture componentry for the machines that they sell, and they do that using Ward High Tech's machine tools. I'm here to meet with Mark Foster, who's going to walk me around the machine shop and show me exactly what they do. So Mark, we're inside the factory here at Baker Perkins. Does this manufacturing machine in cell represent a big part of the overall company and business? Yeah, it certainly does. Um, the, the factory itself has got five bays, um, and each of those bays are 100 metres long by 25 metres wide. So the manufacturing facility or the machine shop is one of those bays. So it is quite a large area, definitely. And what we've got here is obviously the main reason we, we are here. We've got a huge turning centre behind us. Yeah. What are you machining on here? What, what are you doing? Um, we're machining large rolls um, for the biscuit industry mainly. Um, but we, we put a lot of equipment through here, flake mills, uh, basically machined items that are, are too large to really subcontract. So would it be right in saying that what you're actually making here are parts for the machinery and the equipment that go together to produce your final product? That, that's right, yeah. We're, we're a manufacturer of high volume uh, food machinery um, and because it's high volume it tends to be quite large equipment and therefore we need machines such as this to produce those products. You wouldn't be able to find subcontractors very easily, I wouldn't have thought, for this type of part. Is that why you do everything in-house? Uh, mainly, yeah. Uh, subcontracting work of this size is very difficult because they're usually on large production runs or, or bigger runs than, than uh, normal. We do a lot of bespoke equipment um, and our, our uh, sector variation is, is quite considerable. So at some point we might be doing biscuit rolls on this machine and then we might be doing something for the cereal industry such as flaking rolls. Okay, and now the Ward High Tech Factor. Obviously they've supplied these machines. Why did you go for the Watchons? Okay, so um, we, we invested uh, some time ago in a smaller Hawachan, uh, the, the sort of baby of, of this uh, machine. Um, we also got other Dali machines as well from, from Ward High Tech. Um, and their service uh, to us in terms of their maintenance and the servicing of the machine has been second to none. Um, what it's meant for us is uh, the reliability of the machines, but also uh, the familiarisation of those machines uh, for our operators. Looking at this specific machine, so the high tech 850, you mentioned to me earlier about driven tools. I yep. know this has got a fairly different turret on it as well, it's got a much bigger turret. Um, but you've got the driven tools, has that helped your production? It, it has, yeah. I mean, this, this machine was purchased really to back up a, a, an older machine um, and to really replace that machine. Um, it, it can't do everything that the other machine can do, but it can do a lot more as well. Um, so it's got the driven tooling, which has enabled us to do uh, grooving on this machine, which we wouldn't do normally. It's yeah. also got the provision for the uh, long boring bar, um, which means that we can keep that in, within the machine and, uh, and operate that machine more effectively. Well, I notice when we talk about driven tools and the long boring bar, this has got a double width turret, which does give you a lot more support with your boring bars when you're doing that type of operation. So you'd have seen a benefit there. Yeah, definitely. I think the other thing is as well, it's got it's got a turret as well, which means that we can actually do uh, much more efficiency in terms of the pr programming. Um, our existing machine uh, was a manually loaded tool, tool turret, um, so obviously that all uh, adds up to increased efficiency in this area. But in terms of turning in, is this where, is this the heart of the operation here? Um, in terms of large turning, yeah, this is the, the heart of the operation. We bought the small Hoachan uh, to, to double man, basically, so we had two, one man, two machines. Um, Purchasing the, the, the bigger 850 has enabled us now to have a cell where we've got three machines um, and because we've got the live tooling we can leave long run time uh, components on the larger machine um, and still operate and set up the other machines as well. So we're getting efficiency savings through using the operators in here. During the day we have two operators, uh, they tend to set up the machines and then on nights we have uh, one operator operating the, the three machines when, when the, the workload allows us to do that. Okay, and turning isn't obviously the only thing you do here, so we're going to pop over and have a look at the uh, machining centre. Yep, yeah, no, that's okay. So this is the Dali MCH 630. Yeah. This is the horizontal machining centre. What are you, what are you doing here? Okay, so um, this, this machine was really purchased um, to replace an existing machine uh, that, that we were struggling to maintain. Um, and also the, the older machine, uh, we weren't able to start looking at uh, the sort of higher speed tooling and the through shaft cooling that this machine allows us to do. 
Um, what it's meant is it's, it's given us the opportunity to have much more flexibility in terms of what we put on the horizontal machine um, and also including efficiencies in terms of speed. And I suppose in time, uh, the longer the machines here, the more of those that you'll find and the more effective the machine will become. Uh, that's right, yeah. I mean, what, what we can do with this machine at the minute, we can take work um, that we've been doing on other machines uh, and actually put it onto this machine and, and make it more efficient, mainly because of the tooling that this machine allows us to, uh, to use now. Some of the older machines have been uh, here a long time um, and it, they just haven't got the capability that this machine has. And so you opted for the twin pallet here. Was there any reason you went for a twin pallet rather than a single pallet machine? I don't imagine you to be doing volumes of parts. No, we're not doing volumes of parts, but um, as you see uh, when we were looking at the machine earlier, um, what we can do with the twin pallet, we can have a, a block on one pallet um, and, and something else on the other pallet, a, a vice or something like that. What that allows us to do is have the flexibility to set the machine up whilst the machine's running, but it also allows us to set up on, on a different part um, for the next job coming through. So we've looked at both the turn and the milling. Collectively, is, is this your arena then, Mark? Is this what you manage the whole of this machine shop? Yeah, I manage um, the whole of the, the operational side. So through from project management right through to installation and commissioning, um, which encompasses all of purchasing, machining and all of the assembly bay. So, so yeah, it's, it's really about uh, increasing productivity in this area uh, and getting productivity in other areas because we can get the parts through quicker. And with you being in the food industry, it's obviously something different to what we're used to, but how are things in that area? Well, at the moment, we're, we're extremely busy. I mean, uh, we've, we've invested uh, significantly in both of these two machines. We're looking at what we do going forward um, for the machine shop. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite buoyant for us at the minute in the food industry. Um, we're exporting a lot, and so you know, the UK, we're not, we're not doing as much, but we're certainly exporting a lot more. Uh, and it's good for Peterborough, good for, for, for local, def local jobs? Definitely, yeah. Um, you know, the, the workshop here, um, has had its ups and downs, but uh, the staff here are, are, are really highly skilled. Um, and by giving them the, the tools that they need to do their job, um, yeah, we'll, we'll be successful in the future. Thanks, Mark. No problem. Thank you. For more videos, products, and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.